Welcome, 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 welcome. It's Come On Now Podcast. You are rocking with Nikki T, baby. It's Point Guard Perspective, and I'm coming to you live, baby. I'm talking to y'all right now, man. What happened in the NBA? We get reports on Sunday that LeBron James and Steph Curry was possibly had a chance to play together in the regular season. I'm talking about one of the most iconic duos that could have been. We talking about LeBron and D-Wade. We talking about Kobe and Shaq. We talking about Dr. J and Moses, Jerry West and Will. We talking about Magic and Kareem, Steph and Durant. Iconic. Iconic. We had a chance. A moment. They talked about it. The GMs, the owners, Buzz, Lakeups, they were in discussions. I don't know how deep the discussions got, but there were reports last year that LeBron was possibly getting entertained or getting traded to the Warriors. It's true. <laughs> we're finding out it's true. We almost got to see it. Possibly it was out there. And Rich Paul. Rich Paul, you had to do this to us, the fans who make the league. For your own selfish reasons, why would you do that to us? It was the right reasons, though. I I can't even lie. It was the right reasons, man. Because according to Mark Steins, it was believed that the Lakers would have reluctantly entertained trade conversations with the Warriors before last February trade deadline as James wanted to seriously engage Golden State on potential deal. Yet lead sources said that the reported talks between the teams at the time never got that far, in large part because of James' agent, friend, best friend probably, businessman together, Rich Paul, was adamantly opposed to the idea of LeBron swapped in Southern California for Northern California. And the reason why. It's say largely because he wanted to insulate James for the potential backlash over switching teams for the fourth time in his career. Rich Paul, you're right. You're right, but we don't care. We want LeBron and Steph to play together. We want that duo. We are wait. We deserve it. They're both on their way out. Well, maybe. Who knows? LeBron might have 10 more years left the way he still runs up and down the court. Curry might have seven years the way his... His lactic acid never builds up. He can run around the court all day long and never get tired. At 36, 30, 37 years old, LeBron's 40. And these players are still playing at a high level. So it would have been amazing to see. But LeBron would have got backlash. They would have killed, killed, killed him. They would have ate him up. They would have devoured him like a fat girl at a cake fest. They would have ate him up. He would have went to another team. You know that meme where they say not one, not two, not three, not four, not five? They would have been talking about how many teams he left to to go win a championship. And that would have been another hit on his legacy, chasing Michael Jordan. And from my perspective, is he better than than, than Jordan? Hey, that's to each and, own, each and every person who watched Michael and who watched LeBron and how they feel about the two separate players. If you like Jordan, you like Jordan. You like LeBron, you like LeBron. And there's nothing that either player can do at this point of LeBron's career and what Michael Jordan accomplished to change your minds. Because LeBron could go out there and win the next three, four championships at this age, and people are still going to say Jordan's the GOAT. And LeBron could do that again or not win another championship. And his resume right now with all-time point scorer, you know, he's going to be top whatever in assists and every statistical category. And some people are going to say, it's LeBron James. Look at the longevity. Look what how long he did it for. 21, 25, 30 years he might play. I don't know. That's what it's looking like right now. The man don't look like he has. he's stopping. Look like he's going to keep going until the end of time. It's like a fucking robot out there. But, wow, Rich Paul really stopped it, man. And, and, and Draymond was talking about it and clamoring for it. But I, I didn't know how much truth of it, to it was it. But now that we're seeing, and the simple fact that Jeannie Buss was even talking to them is saying that she knows the ride is coming to an end in Laker Town, and she knows she has to start making her next move the best move for the Laker franchise because if they're not going to get anything done with LeBron James, they got to start 
decide on what they, you know, what's the next move. But right now in his career, can he do it as the top player on the team? I think he can, but a lot of people don't because he's 40 and you need him to play 60, 70 games to get your team a top seed. I don't care who you are. You can't go win the games on the road every year and be the seventh and eighth seed and think that you're going to come out the West Finals. It's just highly Im- improbable to do so. So and he's not going to play all those games at a high level like he once could just because he's getting older. It just naturally happens, you know. And his team around him, he has AD. I think they're a good team, but they're not gelling the way that they should be doing during a regular season to get a top seed. So this trade, might as well, fuck it. Fuck it. Give us what we want. Give us stuff. LeBron, we got a glimpse of it in the Olympics. And it was amazing to see these two superstars, these giant giants of the basketball world get to play together. Um, and Steph got to do what he naturally gets to do, run around and come off screens and not have the ball as much, even though he's still a great best point guard in my eyes ever. He got LeBron James to handle the point guard duties and 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 orchestrate, and he got to do what he loves to do. And LeBron finding him off back screens and all types of good passes, and Steph just right in the pocket. He just, bang, knocking him down the last two games. The first couple games was tough. And that's what we want to see as fans. I, I'm not going to give him any backlash, but the backlash would have came. So rightfully so, Rich Paul made the right decision by ending that. Like, before this shit go any further, nip it in the bud. We ain't having that. I'm not going to let this happen to LeBron because we know how social media is in this world today. He would have got clamored. He would have got absolutely destroyed. And that would have been another reason for him not to be in the Michael Jordan GOAT conversation, even though I think Kobe should be there also, just that Kobe played with Shaq for, you know, a nice part of those championships, and Shaq was the most dominant player ever in this league. So um, what do y'all think, man? I want y'all to weigh in. Do y'all think that Rich Paul should have, you know, stayed out of it and and let LeBron make a a decision for himself and ultimately go play with Steph. They probably would have had to give up Kaminga, you know, Young Peace. Um, Who's the other guy? Moody. um, Pazinski. I think I said his name wrong, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Lefty, little lefty. um, And a couple of draft picks for this point, for, for this, for LeBron James at this point in his career, was that been the right move for Golden State? Heck yeah. Why not? LeBron is still a top five player in the in the NBA. He's still the best American player in the NBA. Him and then who's probably next is probably Steph. And you could you could put Embiid on there. I don't care. Those two players show that they're still the best players in from the United States or from Team USA. So you only have, like I said, Luca, um, the overseas players, Luca, Giannis, if you want to consider Shea, and and then um, Luca, Giannis, Shea. I'm missing somebody. Luca, Giannis. Oh, Joker. God damn it. The best player in the world. I'm out tripping. I'm losing my mind. The best player in the world by far. Um, After those players, I, I have to put LeBron and Steph Curry right there. So, but at this age, like, I'm not – bashing those guys because they shouldn't be expected to win so it should be going over there freelancing and having fun at the end of their careers like Jordan got to do by coming back to the Wizards and there was no expectations of him being great there shouldn't be that high expectations of these two players being that great to carry teams but now fuck it for the for the fun for the fans of it that would have been so great to see an iconic duo that we didn't know we needed that we need and it would have had eyes tuned in to every game for 82 games of the season. I, I don't know how much games they play together, actually, just with injuries, but it would have been fun to see. But, <laughs> ooh, bless me, sorry. My apologies. But, yeah, tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that should have happened? Uh, weigh in or come on now to podcast. Y'all hit that follow button. Subscribe. Um, we here, we bringing y'all content all day. Rudy, my guy, Donald, 
Uh, we're doing good things, big things here. Y'all just keep supporting us and we'll keep doing what we'd love to do. Y'all keep interacting with us. We talk back, like I said, um, whole conversations on Instagram, YouTube. We're here for it, man. Just keep it about the sport. Like we have no problems with going back and forth and telling you our reasons. There's no vendettas against certain players. It's just what it is. We keep it real. And that's what we do here. And this is I'm probably gonna keep call this keep it the keep it real segment with Nick Taylor. Keep it real. Cause I keep it real. But man, um that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Weigh in. LeBron to the Warriors. Good idea. I think so.